Hello, hello, and welcome back to Disc Plays, the long dark on interloper difficulty. We are in a house in Coastal Highway, or the Coastal Highway. And when we last left, I was just settling down to uh, get some sleep, which I performed. And then we were going to head out today to go over to Jack Rabbit Island, I believe. Have a look-see over there. And possibly try to find some better clothes so um, just to keep you updated on what I do have I have two of these plaid shirts I do have some um, I, I have made the hand wraps the improvised hand wraps I have two uh, toques or toques toques I think you call them sport vests and socks trail boots and one pair of thermal underwear and two pairs of jeans. So not a lot of good gear to be honest. Not even fully kitted out yet. In terms of uh, items, I have several books and things. Um, some of which I've read. I can't remember which ones I've completed. Uh, I've got plenty of uh, medicine and ingredients to keep us going. Food is looking a bit thin. I do have some. I have soda crackers and a tin of sardines. So that's going to keep us going for... Uh, maybe a day or two maybe if I can get some rabbits now I'm gonna drop some of this gear because I'm obviously quite uh, over burdened at the moment I've got two sewing kits so I can also fix up some of my gear now it is dark so I don't think I can fix my gear yet well, mind you the aurora is on so actually with that in mind let's go ahead and fix up this. There we go. See, I always want to try and keep at least one I'm of so uh, one sewing kit. Yeah, one sewing kit for um, for the making of gear, like your bear uh, your bear um, sleeping bag, the boot deer boots, those sorts of things. Um, I'm not gonna do fix anything else up ideally you want to be fixing your gear up when it's about 65% because traditionally you get about 35% um, of an increase in the in the quality of your gear so I wanted to get one of these up um, and you see if I do this 80% one it's only going to give me a, a 0.1% increase so not much the socks I did because they were yellow um, but yeah so I've got a number of torches here most of them are pretty bad uh, in pretty bad state I mean so I don't need the simple tools so we're gonna have a look and drop some stuff off here um, we've got some rabbits rabbit hide or pelt I should say curing there which is good um, where can I stick my toolbox not my tool. I know what you dirty minded people are thinking out there. My toolbox. Quality tools, so or simple tools rather. So I can transfer both of them. I'm not going to need them. I'm going to transfer some of these torches. Probably a couple of these. I don't need all of them. Um, I, uh, there are only one, one, uh, point one of a kilo. Um, what else? I don't really need the heavy. Well. I want to keep the heavy hammer on me for the moment, just in case. I don't need all this, f all this water, so I'll drop some of that on the way out. Um, other than that, well, there's a lot of wood here, um, so oh, that's right. Actually, I don't really want to make this place my main base of operations because there isn't a table here. Uh, a table. There isn't a. Um, uh, cooker here or a fireplace, indoor fireplace. So actually, I'm going to take all this. Sure I can carry much more. Yep, I know. I'm sorry, Astrid. I've overburdened you once again with silly. Right, there we go. Is that? Only got the one. Okay, so it's probably going to be dark outside. It's probably going to be stone cold. Um, I suppose I can read. 
I can't read because I need to eat. I don't want to eat because that requires using what little food I have left. Let's have a look outside. It should be quite clear outside. Auroras are usually clear. Yep, there we go. It's nice and bright. Um, so, Jack Rabbit Island, if I'm not already on it, is over there. And let's that's where we're going now. So let's head on over there. It is pretty chilly outside I will say but what a what a beautiful night sky tonight what a beautiful sky absolutely beautiful look at that that would uh that would make a good screenshot that and I think actually give me two seconds while I do screenshot that and there we go all right ah, beautiful absolutely beautiful Right, so, yeah, heading over to Jackrabbit. Um, I want to try and find some gear. Other than that, today, I'm going to hit the coast. The coastline over there. Um, and see what we can find in the places over there. Um, and then, we'll see what we have got from there. Hopefully, if I find the um, hacksaw then that's going to allow me to start making some gear. And I was... Ooh. Where you at, Wolfie? I heard you. But I don't see you. Right, at least he's not on the side of this hut that is blocking my view. I don't know where that was. I don't know where he came from. But anyway... I haven't been in here, so let's go in here quickly. Okay, tinder plug. Well, might as well for a piece of wood. Take that. Anything better than a tinder plug and a bit of wood, please? Nope. Nope. No cloth. Well, well, marvelous. Thank you for your generosity, interloper. Okay, let's push on. I will hook. Hu is that the wolf out there? That is the wolf out there. Wow, you can see him glistening. At night, if you haven't seen them before at night, they turn in. It's when there's an aurora, they turn into some very odd things, like their eyes glow. He is. He is heading over this way, so so let's uh, stay clear of him. Now, I have gone and got on myself lost. I think I thought. No, no, no! I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Please. I know what I was thinking of. I do not like that wolf out there. There's two of them. You just see them shimmering. They kind of glow and, uh, like I say, they go a bit of an odd um, colour when they are in, in the aurora. I can't remember the name for them. Though. I think there is a name for them. I hear crows, so that could mean a deer carcass. Yeah, here we are. Jack Rabbit Island. Right? That could mean a deer carcass. Or a deer carcass or a body. So I think at this stage I kind of would like it to be uh, actually a body because I, I would need to build a fire. And where are they? Where are the crows? There they are. There they are. Uh, how close are they to these wolves? so much harder to see when they're... Look, see them? Just over there, right there. They're so much harder to see at this distance when the aurora is up because they... they shimmer. Okay, so let's see. Nothing. Yeah, you can just see them. See, they're shimmering like a greeny, weird colour. But anyway. Alright, that's enough of them. Let's go and see what we have in... Here. Oh, don't want to run up the hill. That's a bad idea. 
Come on, come on, don't sprain your ankle. Good, good. Okay. Alright, so I am stone cold. Oh, I will take some of that. But not to worry. We're going to go in here and then we're going to get some sleep to top us up. And then we will um, have a look-see around in the morning. Because what is the time? It's... It is just getting daylight. I can't actually remember where there is a bed in here. Is it through here? Ah, uh, yes. Alright, so let's sleep for... Um, I need to eat some food, so... Okay, so we're going to have to go out hunt rabbit hunting later. Otherwise, we are going to run out of food, and that's not going to be good. Unless I, of course, find some food here. Um, there's the bed. So let's sleep for three hours. That's going to heal our temperature up and our hypothermia risk. That's also going to give me a bit of rest so I can go through longer into the night and obviously give us a little bit of condition back. It's not ideal doing that. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Decent wool socks. That's a good start. Eat I will not complain about that at all. Bit of a shame that I used my healing kit to uh, fix up a pair of those wool socks, but never mind. That's a good find. That's not bad. Those little extra percents of temperature protection are most welcome. So, Jack Rabbit Island, as the name suggests, you can actually get quite a lot of rabbits on here, so. That is something. And like I said, that's what we're going to do today. Nobody needs this anymore. Oh, excellent. Another sewing kit. Wonderful. Um, I think I have plenty of water, so I'll probably leave the toilet for the minute because otherwise I'm just going to end up bogging myself down with weight and I'm already over encumbered. So... I search this drawer? Yes, I have. So, check the cooker quickly. Nothing in the oven. Let's check around here. So, I'm not going to stay here. I'm probably going to find... Hey, great. There we go. Granola bar. I'm probably going to set up camp for a little bit. Again, depending on what I find here. If I don't find anything, I'm tempted to just leave the area immediately and make my way to um, Mystery Lake. Something to eat. Nothing in there. But we shall see. I could also set myself up and just... Now I've got two sewing kits. I could make myself some mittens. Some rabbit mittens and a rabbit hat. Um, that wouldn't be a bad idea. This. Another granola bar. This is this is good. It's not bad. It's a that's what 600 calories we found. So that's almost a, a night sleep there. And nothing in there. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cannot complain at what I found in here. Really. Some bits of food. Um. Yeah. Some bits of food. Two granola bars. And I think that is all there is. Just double check. Yep, that's all. Oh, and some painkillers we found as well, which, you know, or was it antibiotics? One of the two. So, not bad. Not bad. Um, okay, so we're going to head off town to the coast then. If there's a rabbit around here, I might try and knock one on the head quickly. <laughs> it was quite funny. I was reading the comments to one of the other videos the other day. Um, I apologise, I can't remember your name. Was talking about um, there's on one of the videos. I'll find out the name of it, and I'll put a link in the description below. Where I hit a rabbit. It looks at me, and just as it looks, to, it's it's kind of running and hopping along, and it pauses for a moment, and it looks at me, and just as it looks at me, I throw a stone in it. 
bonks it straight, square on in the face. And I hadn't noticed it, but if you slow it, if you slow the video right down, you can see it very clearly. All right, so there's some huts over there which we want to get to, and then we're gonna head off. Oh, oh dear, that was a rabbit being killed. It was another rabbit being killed by a wolf. Um, and I didn't quite hear the direction of where that was. I think, I think it was down there. Now I don't want to get hit again by a wolf because that will be disastrous. So let me go up here quickly, see what I can see down here. I can't see any wolves that way. And I can't see anything that away. So maybe it's on the other side of this hill, but that sounded very, very close. It's not a wolf down there, is it? Oh, Christ. There he is. I see him. Okay. Let's see if I can't scare him away with a stone. No. Nope. Right, you know what? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They really like to hound me, these wolves. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's... Oh, I can't read because to read you need to have food. And I don't want to eat my food because I'm very low on food at the moment. So what can I do to pass the time? These are pretty good. Those, those are okay. Um, could fix that up, but it's not really worth it. Okay, um, alright, that's a good idea. Let's prepare some rose hips for tea. Okay, go out the back way and hopefully, now when I say back way, is that this way? <laughs> I don't remember. The weather, that is a blizzard that is now coming in as well. Um, which actually <laughs> might not necessarily be a bad thing. Because wolves don't like blizzards. And I th think. Jesus let me just think cold. here a minute. What do I want to do? The wolf appears to have gone. I hope. The wolf is gone. Okay, so I'm going to beeline over to those huts. And that is where we are going to... Oh, there's the wolf. It's, uh... Man, these wolves. Man, these wolves. If he comes over here... Now, I would have liked to have checked out that canoe there because there might have been something there. However... With Mr. Wolf sitting around there. Look, see, there's a nice juicy deer over there, Wolf. Why don't you go and eat that? Eh? Do us both a favour. Is he heading? He's like heading straight towards me. Come on. Come on. Okay, so. I've got to check this quickly. Warn me. I don't think they're going to be any better than the hand wraps that I made. Alright, well, I think we're clear of the wolf now. So. I'm going to run. Yeah, okay, we're clear of the wolf now. Okay. Whew. So they're scaring me. That if you've watched my first season, in one, in that, that was a. <laughs> that was a terrible, um. Terrible experience of just being hounded by wolves. And actually it was here that I got to. I'm not going to check out that hut over there. Not yet. I'll go back to that. It was actually here 
where I died to a wolf. Not not in this exact location, but um, in this zone. It was running over to the island that we just started this episode in, actually. I can't remember the name of that island. Um, but yeah, I don't recommend getting attacked by a wolf on Interloper. It's probably going to kill you. If it doesn't kill you, well, it should. Now, I might have already checked these, actually, when we came through here. I don't know, though, because that was a few episodes ago. And it's been about a week since I played on this. So, because I like to do all my filming and all my recording in one sitting. Now, what we can do, hopefully, along here is find some cattails. Hopefully. He says, with wishful thinking, and wishful thinking that ultimately falls flat, because I don't think there are any here. There isn't. No, what a surprise. It, it was really wishful thinking to think that Interloper would, uh, would give me any such relief. Okay, so let's see. I'm not sure if I've been in here. I might well possibly have been... Oh, here's a crate, we'll be able to tell. No, I haven't been in any of these huts, so that is good. So we're going to warm up in here for a minute. I don't need the paper for the tinder. Let's check under the bed. Anything under here? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing there. Let's check that back. So I did see a scarf, but... Again, a scarf is not as good as a Canadian duke, so nothing in here. The bin, don't, don't the trash cans. Nothing in here. I suppose what I should have done is probably left my rabbit hide curing back at that island because we were we would end up going back there, I guess, at some point. Um, but hey ho, it's a bit late now. Well, the weather's a bit warmer now, so that's something, I suppose. Um, a bandage. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, pork and beans. Excellent. That is some much needed calorie intake there. Um, can't see anything there anything behind this chair. Sometimes they do put things behind there but unfortunately I have no way of breaking that down and even if I did I probably at this point wouldn't want to. I'm gonna go ahead and break down some of these curtains just very quickly because I want some cloth later for doing repairs. I don't know how much cloth I've got exactly I suppose I could look. Would be an idea wouldn't it? Have a look how much cloth cloth you have. So these, I don't think these are going to be any better than what I actually have. So let me just have a quick look at that. Mm. Well, they do have wind and water, so I think they're actually going to be exactly the same. So how long to fix this up? 30 minutes. Um, all right, well, I will do that later. I don't necessarily, I'm not desperate for the gloves at the moment. I'll do that later. That gives me something to pass time when I need to. What is that noise? Oh my god, it's the bear. It's the bear. And I think the bear is trying to come over here. Oh, bugger. Oh, it just gets better and better. That does get better, because there is a granola bar. Well, if I get stuck in this hut, at least I've got some food to last me a little while. Um, okay, so we have actually, we are doing now okay for food. We've got a couple of nights worth of food. If I can get some rabbits or some fresh meats, then that means I can actually go ahead and do a bit of reading as well. 
if needs be. Alright, so that wolf is going to be... Uh, wolf, that bear is going to be right outside, so... If I just... Let's drink a bit of water. Um, and let's go ahead and fix up these. And hopefully, with that half an hour passed, Mr. Bear has decided to go. Yeah, there you go. So it is it is quite a bit better. The Not a lot, but I will take the plus 0.5 and plus 0.5 windproof and the 5% of protection against rain. Absolutely, I will take that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break down one of these as well for one extra cloth and then hopefully Mr. Bear has gone. So here is, oh god, I should have ducked before I went out, that was silly, that, that was very silly. Right, I can't hear the bear, he usually heads off I think down there and then somewhere I don't know where alright but the the temperature is a lot better outside yeah anyway as I was saying apart from there being the bear here um, which you do need to be careful of and bears won't be scared of fire either I've lit a fire before to try and scare a bear scare a bear that's a, that's a little jingle right there and it failed miserably okay we've got another copy of frozen angler what I really want is some hooks and some hooks and line, but of course no such luck. Yeah, I can't hear that bear. That bear's gone. Right, so yeah, he usually heads off um, down that way. Um, right, so I checked. I've checked both. I've checked all of these now. Yes, I have. I've checked all of these. Okay, so. In that case, I think when we came through here, we went into that hut there. No, we didn't. Of course we didn't. We, or did we? Because we came in at the log, so... Okay, I'm going to go and check here anyway, just in case. Um, and then I'm going to try and head over to the buildings over there if there is some. Again, I, I'm not 100% familiar with this area. It's not my most... Uh, I'll take it, I suppose. It's not the area that I'm most familiar with. I kind of am a little bit, but not 100%. Anything else? Nothing? No? Okay. Alrighty, so still haven't really found any decent gear. I've got food which is a bonus. I've got, um, I have, uh, I suppose actually I could check that hut out. Because there are deer here and I'm probably not going to be coming back this way. So let's go do that. The temperature's alright. I've got plenty of water. And I've got food. Maybe we can scare... No? They've all decided to run towards us, which naturally that's what a deer would do in panic of a human is spin around and there's a wolf there. So maybe I can get that deer and get it to head over to that wolf. This will come in handy. Okay, well, I've got another one of those. That's the third one of those, so it's okay. Again, frustrating because I already have one, but can't really complain. Okay, whetstone, I'll take that. They will come in handy. And I eventually find the hacksaw and can get to making some um, tools. Right, so dear, I want you to stay ahead of me. So this is a good tip, guys. If you can find wildlife and you can get the wildlife to... Oh, I don't want to get that close to that wolf. And you can get the wildlife, especially rabbits, when you're in the hilly, snowy areas. You can actually get them, you can use them as kind of like a trigger. 
but not that one because he decided to do a 180 and run in the opposite direction. But you can use the rabbits, so pretty good because rabbits will generally run away from you. Deer sometimes do just charge straight at you. Um, you've got to keep an eye on that wolf. Right, there's the buildings that we're trying to get to there. But you can use the rabbits, as I was saying, as a kind of like a trigger so that. Um, you know, if you're coming over the hills and you can't see over the other side of the hills, there could be wolves and stuff there. Well, by pushing rabbits ahead of you or deer ahead of you, sometimes, or usually the wolf is going to attack that deer or the rabbit and not you. And it gives you a bit of a warning if there is something over there. Now this is where I need to be careful because there can be deer here. Now, I do have a stone if you can get a good shot on the wolf on the on the nose i don't want to use a torch all right okay i should i know i'm playing this wrong guys i know really when you're coming over those hills you really should be um crouching but nuts to that i'm in a hurry so this is where we came in apologies this is where we come in and this was the hut that we first checked out. That's why I was getting my bearings a little bit wrong. Wow, I'm outside. Have you seen that? I'm outside and I am gaining temperature. That, I think, is the first time on my short-lived interloper career that that's been a thing. It's minus eight. Wow. Minus eight outside, and to me, because of all my awesome gear, <laughs> he says sarcastically, it actually feels like minus one. Uh, plus one, <laughs> sorry. If it was minus one, I would be cold. Alright, so I am a little bit worried that I'm thinking this area is, I'm getting this area confused with another area. Pretty sure I'm not, I'm pretty sure up here. It, there is a little town area. If there's not, then I really am got myself all twisted around. Um, and not to worry, there'll be there'll be a hut, and we can always go back up to our house up on that island over there. If, if I am, it's not getting dark just yet. It will be soon. but we are okay for the moment. Really, like I've said before, the area I want to get to and the area I feel confident in setting myself up in would be um, the one of the easiest areas, to be fair, and that is Mystery Lake. Um, I just know the area. It's not because it is the easiest area. It just seems to be the area when I was learning to play the game that's the location that I always seem to start in when I, I used to put it on mostly random. Um, but that just always seemed... Oh, I can hear wolves. That always seemed to be the area that I ended up gravitating towards or starting in. Um, and it is a fairly easy zone. Nothing in there. Um, probably nothing in the back, but let's have a look. Oh, we got a bit of cloth. I have nothing else. Um, let's have a look in the boot. So it started to get a bit tired now. But that's not too bad. There's nothing too much to worry about. Coastal high I'm yeah. I'm is it mountain? What's the other? There's another town where there is a lake. Maybe I'm confusing it with that one. But I'm pretty sure there's outbuildings here. We'll find out in a minute anyway. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And then, no. Well, I can see a car. I can also see a wolf off to my right. So let's not go near the wolf. And just try to get up some high ground so I can see scout out see if there is any wolves ahead of us down here because this is this is the correct place this I was I was I was doubting myself for no reason this was where I thought I was um, oh. oh. 
I heard that bear. And I heard that bear. Excuse my French. I heard that bear growl like it was right next to me. And I can still hear it. It is over here. And I have no vision of it. And that's the worst. And now I'm trapped between a wolf and a bear. If that bear sees me before I see it. Oh, it's not a bear. It's a moose. That's why I didn't recognize that sound because I have actually never come across a moose. Not that close. Now, that's a bit of a shame because if I had some way of bringing that beast down, I could make the pouch. But I don't. I don't know how territorial they are, and I don't particularly want to find out either. Um, well, it's coming this way. Now, he seems okay, he seems pretty happy just to be over there for a minute. Well, that my heart was leaping out of my mouth then. That was, uh, that was some scary, scary stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go in here, guys. And it's getting a bit dark. So we're going to search this place in the next episode. And we're going to leave it here for today. So thank you very much, guys, for watching once again. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Disc Plays The Long Dark. If you have, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's really going to help my channel out. And make sure you hit the like button as well. Also, if you have any feedback or comments or anything like that on my videos, please make sure you leave some comments in the area below. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you next time on Game Beater Displays. Bye-bye.